So let's have this example on beam deflections solved by double integration method. So by the double integration method, compute the slope and the deflection at B. EI is constant. Also compute the maximum deflection in the beam. So here is the given beam. So first, let's compute for the reaction at A, vertical reaction at A. Of course, the horizontal reaction is zero. Obviously, there is no inclined load here. At C, we have R sub C. So summation moment about C equals zero, AY times uh, eight minus 18 times 5 times 5.5 .5 equals 0. So you'll get Ay equals uh, 61.875 kilonewtons. Likewise, summation moment about C, about A equals 0, counterclockwise positive. So R sub C times 8 equals 18 times 5 times 2.5. <coughs> so we'll get R sub C 28.125 kilonewtons. So we want one moment equation only so we have to ex extend the load up to here and uh, neutralize it by also adding uh, load which is equal to 18 kilonewton per meter upward so the distance from this section from the origin which is point a is denoted by x so therefore since ei y double prime equals moment so the moment equation in this section here is 61.875 times x plus 18 times quantity x minus 5 times x minus 5 over 2 then minus 18 times x times x over 2 or in short eiy double prime is 61.875 x plus 9 quantity x minus 5 square minus 9 x square so this is the differential equation of the elastic curve then <coughs> integrating ones we have EIY prime equals 495 over 16x squared plus 3 quantity x minus 5 cubed minus 3x cubed plus c sub 1. This is the slope of express equation for the slope of slope of any point on the elastic curve. <laughs> then integrating again, so we have 165 over 16x cubed plus 3 fourths of x minus 5 quantity to the fourth minus 3 fourths of x to the fourth plus c sub 1 x plus supposedly c sub 2 but we the value of c sub 2 is 0 because the origin a is a support and uh, there's no deflection at a so remember the interpretation of c sub 2 divided by ei is the deflection at a so it is 0 or you can evaluate it when setting x equals when x is 0, y is 0, so c sub 2 is 0. Then for the boundary condition, the other boundary condition, when x is 8, y is 0, substitute into this equation of the curve here, then we can solve or evaluate c sub 1. So 165 over 16 times 8 cubed plus 3 fourths of 3 to the fourth because 8 minus 5 is 3 minus 3 fourths of 8 to the 4th plus c sub 1 times 8 then solving for c sub 1 c sub 1 is negative 9075 over 32 having found c sub 1 we can now compute the slope or theta at b so ei theta b is x is 5 of course so ei theta b is equal to 495 over 16 times 5 square this is 0 this then minus 3 times 5 cube then plus c sub 1 which is negative 90 75 over 32 so theta b expressed in decimal is equal to 114.844 over ei so it's positive that's the slope at b for the deflection at b substitute into this equation here so 100 65 over 16 times 5 cubed plus or minus 3 fourths of 5 to the fourth this is ignored 0 then minus 90 75 over 32 times 5 so delta b is equal to negative 597.656 over ei take note that this value of c sub 1 divided by ei is the slope at a then for the maximum deflection so of course the maximum deflection occurs somewhere here the value of x is less than 5 if you can analyze because 
the uniform load is concentrated on portion AB, so the maximum deflection is expected to occur somewhere between A and B. And the value of X for that is anticipated to be less than 5. So that, since the idea is for maximum deflection, the slope is 0, we use this equation for slope, set it is 0, and we ignore this term X minus 5 cube here because we anticipate that the value of X where the slope is 0 is less than 5 it's based on the figure and based on your awareness or understanding that the slope should be uh, 0 which is less than 5 because remember the slope at B is positive so it is inclined upward like this so the 0 slope should be less than 5 so we set this equation ignoring the second term to 0 so y prime is 0 there so ei y prime is 495 over 16x square then minus 3x cubed then plus e sub 1 which is negative 9075 over 32 equals 0 so solving for x by trial and error or if you're allowed to use your high-tech calculator that can compute for a cubic function, the roots of a cubic function, then the only acceptable value of x, which is less than 5, is 3.824 meters. So finally, we substitute it to this equation for um, equation of the curve, and we should expect that the deflection is, the absolute value of the deflection should be higher than this delta B here. So EI theta ma delta max is equal to 165 over 16 times 3.824 cube. This is ignored, then minus 3 fourths of 3.824 to the fourth, then minus negative 9075 over 32 of 3.824. Solving for delta max, delta max is equal to negative 668.175 over EI, which is greater than the magnitude is greater than this. So that's why we have to confirm that this is the answer. So for our second example, by the double integration method, compute the slope and the deflection at points B and D. So modulus of elasticity E is 200 gigapascals and the moment of inertia is 500 times 10 to the 6 mm to the 4th. So we have a composite beam. The portion AB has moment of inertia twice the given moment of inertia. So BCD has same I. So therefore, we have two uh, equations of the elastic curve, one for portion AB and the other one for portion BCD. So first, let's compute for the reaction at A, vertical reaction, horizontal is zero. Then let's just call this R sub C. So AY times 10 plus 30 times three minus 20 times six times seven equals zero you'll get Ay equals 75 kilonewtons. Likewise, summation moments about A equals 0. So we have R sub C times 10, counterclockwise positive, minus 20 times 6 times 3, minus 30 times 13 equals 0. So you'll get R sub C equals 75 kilonewtons. So checking, 75 plus 75 is 150. Then 20 times 6, 120 plus 30 is also 150. So that's correct. Therefore, uh, we have to set up equation for portion AB first. Then for BCD, we have to extend this load to have a continuous moment equation or a singular moment equation for portion BCD. For AB, this is the section. So we call the distance from the origin A to that section as X. So E, I, y, e, e times 2I because the moment of inertia is 2I times y double prime ab equals 75 times x minus 20 times x times x over 2 or 10x squared. So dividing everything by 2 because the moment of inertia is 2. So we have ei y double prime ab equals 37.5x minus 5x squared. Then integrating once with respect to x, you have ei y prime ab equals 18.75x squared minus 5 thirds x squared cube plus c sub 1. Integrating again, we have EIY AB equals 6.25x cubed minus 5 over 12x to the fourth plus c sub 1x. So positive plus c sub 2, but c sub 2 again is 0 because when x is 0, 
y is 0 at the origin. Then for the other section for segment BCD, EI y double prime BCD is equal to 75 times x plus 75 times quantity x minus 10 plus 10 times quantity x minus 6 square. This 10 times quantity x minus 6 square is 20 times x minus 10. This is x minus 10. Moment arm x minus 10 over 2. So that gives us 10 quantity x minus 6 square. Then minus 10 x square. The other minus 10 x square is 20 times x times x over 2. So integrating, we have 37 point five x square plus thirty seven point five quantity x minus ten square plus ten thirds x minus six quantity cube minus ten thirds x cube plus c sub three. Equation five integrating again we have E I Y B C D is equal to uh, 12.5 x cube plus 12.5 quantity x minus 10 cube plus <coughs> 5 over 6 quantity x minus 6 to the 4th minus 5 over 6 x to the 4th plus c sub 3 x plus c sub 4. Of course, there is c sub 4 because we are referring to BCD. This is the origin is still here, but it starts with B. So therefore, there is an expected value of c sub 4. Then, for the boundary condition, when x is 10, in this equation here, we can set up an equation involving c sub 3 and c sub 4. Call that equation 6. So, when x is 10, y, b, c, d is 0. In particular, y, y sub c is 0. So, 0 equals 12.5, 10 cube. This is 0. Then, plus 5 over 6 times 4 to the 4th, minus 5 over 6, 10 to the 4th, plus c sub 3 times 10, plus c sub 4. So, simplifying, we have 10 C sub 3 plus C sub 4 is equal to negative 4,380. Call that equation A. Then, there's no more boundary conditions, but we have facts here that at B, which is common to A, B, and B, C, B, C, D, the slope and the deflection at B for portion A, B, and for portion B, C, D are equal. So, when x is 6, y, do, y prime AB is equal to y prime BCD. And y AB is equal to y BCD. So let's have this equation first. y prime AB when x is 6. So 18.75 times 6 squared. So this is the anticipated elastic curve. So 18.75 times 6 squared minus 5 thirds of 6 cubed plus C sub 1 is equal to 30. 7.56 squared. This is ignored. 0. This is minus 10 6 cubed plus C sub 3. So simplifying, we have C sub 1 minus C sub 3 is equal to 315. Call this equation B. Then let's reinforce this equation. YAB equals YBCD. So 6.25 times 6 cubed minus 5 over 12 times 6 to the fourth plus C sub 1 times 6 is equal to 12.5 times 6 cubed. This is ignored. 0 minus 5 over 6 times 6 to the fourth plus C sub 3 times uh, 6 plus C sub 4. So simplifying, we have C 6 times quantity C sub 1 minus C sub 3 minus C sub 4 is equal to uh, 810. Then since we have a value from equation B, C sub 1 minus C sub 3, we substitute it here, 315, then we can compute C sub 4. So 6 times 315 minus C sub 4 equals 810. Therefore, C sub 4 is equal to 1080. Then this value of 1080 for uh, C sub 4, let's substitute this into equation A. Into equation A, 10 times C sub 3 plus 1080 is equal to negative 4380. So C sub 3 can now be solved. C sub 3 is negative 546. Then we substitute this value of C sub 3 in equation B. Then we can now solve for C sub 1. So C sub 1 minus negative 546 equals 315. So C sub 1 is equal to negative 231. Divided by EI, that's the slope at A. Then, we can compute now theta B and delta B. You 
you have the option to use equation 2 for theta b or equation 5 either way but let's use equation 2 the simpler one fewer number of terms then for delta b we can use equation 3 so when x is uh, uh, 6 so theta b is 84 so 18.75 times 6 square minus 5 thirds of 6 cube plus C sub 1 which is negative 231. So theta B is 84 over EI. And the value of EI is 200 times 10 to the 6. This is gigapascal. So 200 times 10 to the 6 kilonewton per meter square. Moment of inertia, let's convert this to meter to the fourth. So 500 times 10 to the 6 mm to the fourth. And divided by 1000 mm is 1 meter. So quantity raised to fourth. So EI will be equal to 100,000 kilonewton meter square. So that's the value of EI. So the theta B is 84 divided by 100,000. So theta B 84 divided by 100,000 is theta B is 8.4 times 10 to the negative 4 radians. So that's the value of theta B. Then uh, delta B substitute into equation 3. So EI delta B is equal to 6.256 cube minus 5 over 12, 6 to the fourth minus C sub 1 times or plus C sub 1 which is negative 2, 3, 1 times 6. So delta B is negative 576 over 100,000 over EI and this is in meter times 1,000. So Delta B is negative 5.76 mm. Of course, delta B is expected to be negative. Then for theta D, so we have no other choice except to use equation 5 for theta B because we cannot use equation 2 for theta D. That's only for portion AB. So EI theta D is equal to 37.5, 13 square plus 37.5 times 3 square plus 10 times 7 cube over 3 minus 10 times 13 cube over 3 then plus C sub 3 which is negative uh, negative 546 C sub 3 so theta D is negative 5.1 times 10 to the negative 4 radians after you divide everything by 100,000 then Likewise, when x is 13, delta D, EI delta D, in this equation, 12.5, 13 cube, plus 12.5, 3 cube, plus 5 over 6, 7 to the fourth, minus 5 over 6, 13 to the fourth, plus C sub 3, negative 5, 4, 6 times 13, plus C sub 4, which is negative uh, 2, negative, uh, positive 1080. So delta D is equal to negative 18 over 100,000 meter or in mm that's negative 0.18 mm so that we can draw the, the approximate elastic curve so that's the elastic curve that's it and i hope that you were able to understand the solution